So, welcome along everyone to a uh, fabulous little uh, seasonal tutorial. This is uh, a little pumpkin uh, just flowing and glowing in uh, the beginning of the autumn season. So let's get going guys. Peter the propelling pencil doing his thing. We're just going to have a central shape for a start. So I just want to work out exactly where we want to be. So relatively central of the image, little dot at the top, little one at the bottom. And then for the width, so this is the overall area we're looking at for the pumpkin. Yeah, a few little dots to guide the pencil. So it's a long squidge, you know, it's like a, a football you've sat on, that type of shape. Okay, we just join it very lightly together. And then what we need to do is break this down into those little chunks of pumpkin. So a little half circle, a little half circle. Once we've got one on, don't take it down too far. We'll just flip a few little half circles again, get them gradually a little bit lower each time. And the same on the up bottom end, flip them round. Don't have to be too accurate. And then we shape by bringing down the individual chunks of pumpkin. Yeah. Again, a bit ruggedy and raggedy is good. There's the basic shape, guys. Pumpkin little uh, stem. I'm going to put a little line to the right and just weave that back so it hits the center there. That's the way it broke off, yeah? That's where Farmer Pumpkin broke off the pumpkin. A few little leaves going out, and again, these are just random shapes, just the direction is more important than the actual shape. So there is your pumpkin, guys, very simple. Behind, we've got a little line going back, so we want the surface that it's resting on. This is going to be dark, negatively picking things out. Don't be scared by that word. And uh, that's all we need, guys. So really, that is all the drawing is. Quick and simple. No fussing about. And uh, let's have a break. We'll get back in a moment to get some paint on. So welcome back guys, had a pumpkin bride, some pumpkin soup, perfect for the uh, painting. And uh, so now let's get some paint on. So I'm going to start with my big dagger brush, Dangerous Dave, he's got a bit of water on, not too much, not soaked. What I'm going to do is drag this down, the shape of the pumpkin. So start at the top, drag down, and we're going one side, now the other side. Try to leave a dry spot just there, that's where the light's going to hit. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of pumpkin soup lodged. So got the water on. Now we're going to go for lemon yellow. So I'm going to do that to a coffee strength. Yeah, so it's about 25 to 50% thickness. I'm starting at the top, I'm just going to drag this roughly around this light area. So there's no water, that's why the paint won't drip there. I'm just dragging it down to the bottom, only on that bit. Don't need to go any further. Now I'm gonna go for Cad Orange, Coffee Strength, and add this next to the Lemon Yellow, so it's further down. The reason for that is I want it to bleed in rather than overwhelm what's already there. So there's your two colours, cad orange and lemon yellow. That next colour, 
Rose Opera. So this is a light, boisterous pink. Mine's a Daniel Smith's one, but whatever colour you've got, guys, will be fine in that sort of area. Dragging this along this side. So this gives it a nice warm glow, and it's also nicely in the uh, realms of the colours we're using. It's not a big leap. Okay, see the shape starting to form. So we've got that on. Now I'm just going to throw on some. Let's have a look. I think a little bit of royal blue. So it's an LEA colour. This is at the far end. And this gives the impression that it's a bit in shadow. Yeah? Coffee strength again. And then I dab a few little bits in while you're not looking. Yeah? So it gives a nice round full shape. That's what we've got. So, got that on, and that's beginning to dry, which is useful, which is what we want. So, we've got that on, now we're going to do the stem with a bit of water and the leaves. So, all I do is push a bit of water out. I don't just plonk it in the lines, I just vaguely put it on. Lemon yellow again, coffee strength. Now, I'm going to go for sap green. So all the colours are listed at the beginning of the uh, tutorial guys, just pop over there and make a little note. But better still just get them all ready before we start. Just dropping this into the yellow this time, look how quick this is. Yeah. I bet you said you were going painting and people think, oh they're going to be a long time. I'll read the paper, well they barely sat down and read the paper, even the cover, and you're almost done. So there's the two uh, first colours, lemon yellow, sap green. Now I've got cobalt blue. Just dragging this bit along the bottom and flicking a little bit up. Yeah. What that does is give me a nice little misty, shadowy colour. Behind the leaves, you know where they get a bit darker, it's a bit shadowy down there. All doing very well, guys. You're doing fabulously, fabulously well. <coughs> right, still getting rid of that pumpkin soup. Now, what I'm going to do is put the background on. Yeah, I'll put it on second. Get the pumpkin on for a start when we work around it. So, I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to drag some water across and across and then underneath. I'm going to use royal blue. Coffee strength, boom. Yeah, boom. Special watercolor sound effects. So, all I do is use the width, the full width of Dangerous Dave. Then, nearer to the pumpkin, I break it up by just dragging thinner lines. And you can bump into the pumpkin. And just slide underneath, don't drag it too much. So you're capturing the light, hitting the base where the pumpkin's having a bit of a rest. Okay, dokes. All right, next colour we've got, we're going to go for cobalt blue again. But for a start, I'm going to put a little bit of water around. So I'm not touching the pumpkin or the leaves, I'm just going around the edges. Get a nice big area. And that keeps it nice and fluid. That's where I caught it, but it's quite nice. It don't matter at all. So this time, cobalt blue, a little bit thicker. We're going for cream strength this time. So I'm using again the full edge, the full force, the full width of Dangerous Dave. And I'm just gradually just going round the shape. Yeah. I'm changing colour now, not me, but the colour on the palette, I'm going for purple. So again, I'm just going to rough line this end. And gradually bringing this up to the shape of the pumpkin. And I'm dragging some of the purple into the blue now. 
You must think I'm crazy. Well, I am, but it works very well. Now, drag in the purple into where the uh, leaves are, but I'm leaving a bit of a white edge sometimes because that gives a nice effect of movement. So where I leave these white edges, it's not all the time, but it just extends the shape and colours we've got out there already. So there you go, we've just jumped around the leaves, a bit of blue on again, I'm just chopping so I can either use the thick end, sorry the thin end which is more or less that to shape it or just bring it down with the shape the line shape, the straight shape of the brush so I'm bringing this all the way down and just bring a few lines out yeah, cool other side, bit of purple not messing about Again, just following the shape and where we get to this line what's roughly the surface we change it from a big block of colour there's your block into lines and now I'm just going to whiz a couple of light I'm sure you can whiz that's whizzing just out and this gives a nice feeling of space there you go, there's your glowing pumpkin within a nice border. So now, let's do a few other little things. I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to change it to a small dagger brush. That's Mini Dave, he's a good lad. And what we're going to do now is make it even a bit darker. So I'm going to get some indigo on Mini Dave. Now my paper's still wet. If yours is dry, Make sure you put a little bit of water down and this will keep it flowing. So if it's dry, you can actually put water on top and it won't go anywhere. It won't just, it won't just go kaplunk. It will just bleed gently and you can add colours to it. So it's quite a good thing. Indigo, I want to make this side a bit darker. And obviously using a smaller brush, you can make smaller shapes with the brush. We get a level at the bottom of the pumpkin and I'm just dragging this colour under. So it's darker this side, it's always better to have one side darker and one side a bit lighter and that helps you define the light a bit better. A couple of bits that side, It'll be a blobby bit. A few little chops, not lamb chops, but chops into the shape again. Then a little bit of water to soften the edge off. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do now is drop a little bit of. Turquoise in. Now this is an artist quality one, so it's quite boisterous and it makes a nice little kaplunk feel, i.e. little blobs of light just floating about. Okay, we've got all that on guys. Zooped through that, we've zooped through it. Okay, next thing. Are you ready? We're gonna get still gonna use mini Dave but we're going to get a little bit of stronger colour onto the pumpkin. I'm going with cream strength, uh, cad orange. Start at the top, I'm just bringing that down, that line. It's a big, thick old line I'm putting on. And then I break it up, so I put a few dots this side. Fuller this side, dottier this side. So it gives a bit of texture to the pumpkin. Another line, drag, drag, 
a few little breaky <coughs> jumpy bits same again yeah and this one next one let's do it with the uh, pink rose opera and what about that blue again here yeah? I know you like that but each time I'm just doing some of it not all of it so I'll leave these lighter bits act as light within the pumpkin you've done very well next one changing brush again to Miss Rigger Rigger brush I'm going to do the same again but we're going to thinner lines this time so there's my line and what you need to do here this side you curve into the left this time you curve into the right so anything in the center is dead straight being there this side you curve in yeah excellent curving guys I can see what you're doing and I've got a little bit of darker red so I've got a little bit of a lizarin crimson yeah just a few lines and then a little bit of darker blue so my next blue would be the one we used on the background for a start cobalt blue I'm just drifting a bit of this through the red so you, you blend them together yep Cool as custard, Mr. Mustard. Almost final thing. Got a darker green now just to chop out a few shapes on the uh, stem. So these are like the little lines you get on a stem, fibrous lines. Only one side though, a dark side. A few bits on the uh, leaf generally just underneath and again whereas we had that white bit before now you can just drag them a bit beyond the white bit so we're always chopping and changing what shall I wear I don't know but not that that type of uh, debate but while we're debating it we're still painting Yeah. Looking cool guys, it's looking cool. Right, couple more things. Now you know those little lines you get? Not lines, what are they? Little uh, roots you get. Whether you're coming from the top. I'm just going to drag a couple down like that. Couple like that. And then just on this side, I'm going to put maybe a blue one. And this side, I'm just going to use a bit of water. No paint on whatsoever. Now that will show itself in a little while. Crocodile. Very final thing, a bit of international splatter. So we've got Miss Rigger, we've got Cat Orange to Coffee Strength and all we do is a bit of that. Gives it a bit of movement, a bit of Rose Opera. Gives a bit more movement. I might put a bit of Cat Orange just at the bottom there as if it's a reflective glow. Sound good? So guys, that is it. That is our little pumpkin all glowing with a nice background you've done a lot in there in a very short space of time have fun as always so do it again 
and uh, really capture the beauty and skill of this uh, fabulous way of painting. So well done guys, I shall see you all again very, very soon.